Olufela Olusegun Oludotun ati Kuti, popularly known as Fela Anikola Pokuti, also known as Abamieda, was a Nigerian musician, band leader, composer, political activist, and pan-Africanist. He is regarded as the pioneer of Afrobeat, an African music genre that combines West African music with American funk and jazz. At the height of his popularity, he was referred to as one of Africa's most challenging and charismatic music performers. All music described him as a musical and socio-political voice of international significance. Fela Anikula Pokuti, born on October 15, 1938, studied music is an essential part of a good education. In 1954, on a visit to Lagos, Fela met Jimo Kombi Braima, known to everyone as JK, who will become his lifelong friend and confidant. In 1955, Fela's father, Reverend Israel Ramsey dies. In 1958, Fela leaves Abekuta for London. His parents had hoped he would study to become a doctor, but Fela is determined to continue with music. In 1959, Fela forms his first group, Fela Ramson Kuti and his high life breakers. The band record four size for Melo Disc, one of Britain's first independent African and Caribbean music label. In 1960, Fela disbands the high life breakers and forms Cola Lubitus, which was a line-up for West African and Caribbean music. In 1961, Fela marries Remy, his first daughter, Yeni, is born. In 1962, Fela graduates from Trinity College of Music. His first son, Femi, is born. In 1963, Fela forms the first edition of the Fela Ransakoti Quintet. In 1964, MBC hires Fela as a junior producer. Drummer Tony Allen joined his band. In 1965, Fela is fired from NBC. He forms a second edition of Koola Lobitos. In 1966, Koola Lobitos becomes a popular presence on the Lagos music scene. In 1967, trumpeter Tunde Williams, later a key member of Africa 70, joins Koola Lobitos. In 1968, Fela's first album, a compilation of Koola Lobitos singles, is released. In 1969, Fela and Koola Lobitos record a live album at the Afro Sport and begin a 10 month tour in the US. In 1970, Fela and the Nigerian 70 record 10 tracks in Los Angeles, later released in Nigeria as Fela Fela Fela. In 1971, Fela changes his band name from Nigerian 70 to African 70. In 1972, Fela renames the Afro Sport, the African Shrine, and bring it back to life. In 1973, Fela and African 70 released Gentleman, the first fully formed Afrobeat album. In 1974, Fela is wrongfully jailed for three days, giving him material for future albums, along more clothes and expensive sheets. In 1975, Fela changes his last name from Ransom Kuti to Anikula Pokuti, one who carries dates in his pouch. In 1976, Fela increases his involvement with the direct action political movement, the Young African Pioneers. In 1977, in an unprecedented brutal assault, 1,000 soldiers better their way into Kalakuta and raise it to the ground. In 1978, Fela marries 27 women in a traditional Yoruba wedding, in a traditional Yoruba wedding ceremony in Lagos. In 1979, Fela and his political party movement of the people are banned from contesting Nigerian presidential election. In 1980, Fela resumes touring in Nigeria and is joined by U.S. jazz funk star Roy Ayers. In 1981, Fela renames African 70 as Egypt 80 and tours Europe. In 1982, with no international record deal and an economic recession gripping Nigeria, this is a difficult year for Fela. In 1983, Fela's son, Sheung, is born. Fela makes his first appearance at the Britain's Glastonbury. In 1984, Fela is arrested and asked to cancel an upcoming tour. In 1985, Fela is named a prisoner of conscience by Amnesty International. In 1986, Fela is freed from jail. He announces that he will run for president. In 1987, a series of events are held in Lagos to commemorate the 1977 attack on Kalakuta. 
In 1988, Fela and the Egypt 80 spent most of the year performing at the shrine. In 1989, Fela and Egypt 80 resumed international touring, including two shows in New York with James Brown. On the 3rd of August 1997, Kuti's brother Oliko Ransom Kuti, already a prominent AIDS activist and former Minister of Health, announced that Kuti had died on the previous day from complications related to AIDS. Kuti had been an AIDS denialist and his widow maintained that he did not die of AIDS. His youngest son, Sheon, took the role of leading, of leading Kuti's former band, Egypt 80, as of 2022. The band is still active, releasing music under the monkey Sheon Kuti and Egypt 80.